Hey guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing um, Lord of the Rings, uh, The Return of the King. Um, this is the third uh, film in the series, and it is the last of the Lord of the Rings, um, and it's, uh, yeah. So this had, this won two Academy Awards, um, which is very high standards for like a um, <laughs> like fantasy film, because normally they don't get that kind of like stuff. <coughs> So yeah, that's very good. Um, also, uh, like, yeah, it's a very good film. Um, so Frodo in this one is kind of becoming a bit of like a jerk kind of person because the ring is making him kind of not evil, but not very nice almost. And Gollum's kind of edging him on in that fashion. So yeah. Um, and then, uh, um, what do you call him? Uh, Aragorn is uh finally made king in this one which is very good as well uh but that's only at the very end which has yeah um but um yeah so basically um at the start gandalf has to take away pippin for something i forget what it is but yeah um and sam and frodo are still on their quest and there's new orcs and stuff in this one now so that's not like good for them um and yeah and then um like this one's a bit of a darker one compared to like some of the others um like especially the new hobbit ones it's a lot darker um it's just like because of the ring corruption and stuff and they're at the journey's end so yeah uh and yeah and then um so what do you call him uh yeah so uh Gollum is tricking like frodo constantly throughout the journey so frodo is like easily tricked it's kind of shown so yeah, um, and Gollum is basically Gollum, um, like <coughs> blames Sam for eating some bread or something, and Frodo abandons Sam. And so, um, Frodo and Gollum go off alone until Gollum betrays him, and tries to feed him to like a giant spider thing. Um, eventually they fight it off though. So yeah, um, and then Frodo gets back of Sam, and they go to Mordor. Uh, to defeat Sauron, um, and they do. Uh, but there's this one big scene that I really like, um, where they're basically on a giant cliff kind of thing, a walkway basically, um, into like the Mount Doom area. So um, yeah, um, they and then he's about to throw it in, but then he says he wants to keep it. So um, what happens is then uh, Gollum kind of jumps on him, um. And they have a bit of a fight. Eventually, like, Gollum bites off his finger and takes the ring into the lava with him. And he gets burnt into the lava as well. So, yeah. Then the eagles go and rescue them. And, yeah. Um, the film kind of should have ended after that. But then they have, like, five different endings, which go on for, like, half an hour. So, uh, yeah. It's strange. Uh, anyway. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. That's what happened in this film. Uh, it's very good. Um, one of the better films in the series. It's probably the best film in the series, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, so yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll probably review the Hobbit films when I get around to watching those because I actually haven't watched those yet. I just haven't really had the chance, and also they're a bit like I don't really want to, but um, I'll watch them anyway, and then I'll do a ranking of them at the end of that. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.